Hello and welcome back to the Polar Express part three. Let's go and do this mission, Rooftop Rescue. This is probably the hardest one in the game, or one of the hardest at least, so let's go and play the PS2 version of the Polar Express. You have lost your ticket? She didn't lose her ticket. I did. I tried to re return it to you, but the wind blew it out of my hand. Ticket. Ah! These tickets are not transferable. Young lady, you will just have to come along with me. You know what's going to happen now, don't you? He's going to throw her off the train. Yeah, he's going to probably throw her right off the rear platform. It's standard procedure. That way she won't get sucked down under the wheels. They may slow the train down a little bit, but they're never going to stop it. Stop it? That's it! I have to stop the train again! No, please don't do that again! How bad the graphics look, oh dear. Just this part though is. I can do this. Just gotta be careful. Make sure nothing knocks me off this train. That girl was depending on me. I'm not going to let her down. Okay. So. What we're supposed to do here is that we're supposed to, with the bar at the bottom of the screen, we're supposed to catch up to the other people. We have to catch up to the girl and the man. And I think it's by the end of the journey, I think. So, yeah. That's what we're supposed to do. There's obstacles that come. And, uh, what I actually did though. Was that when I played this one part before, um, it was actually an incline. The, the middle part of um, the middle part of the train car is on an incline, like, and um, the edges of it are like like used to go under some obstacles and. Uh, if you, if you, even if you duck under the middle part of it, sometimes, you still get hit. So, you try not to get hit this time, I mean, try not to lose, I meant, so, let's go. Let's, let's see how we can do this then. Graphics are apparently bad in this game, but I don't think it's that bad. I think the graphics are alright, but uh, it is a bit bad in some areas to be honest with you. So, uh, basically, I think graphics are a bit average in this game. I got hit, so, yeah. Okay. I actually get coins for lives, so yeah, that too. I, I, I've tried to make sure that this recording is better 
make sure that there's no lights in the room to make the screen look better blurry. I had the camera of my phone with its stand further back, a little bit more back this time to make sure it's not fully on the screen. Because otherwise the graph the um, otherwise it would show pixels more which wouldn't be as good looking. So far, I think. I think the game isn't that bad. Maybe fun with this game, but it's short. Country, Suriname. So, yeah. But they want to name things. I'm saying after country. So, oh, what is that over there? What is that? Hello? Is there someone there? And we're going to continue. On this, vi this video is not going to end yet. Let's continue the next bit. We can, I think. Start, sorry. Okay, that's that. It, it just left me in front of the house, and um, 
I could get around. So let's do this again. And this is another This is another type of minigame. We have to have a height. We have to have an attention to it. So yeah. But it's slightly easier than the other one though, so yeah, let's, let's just do it. Uh, the previous recording of the Pro Express and this one is recorded with a the Lumen Vibe shot camera and uh, it's quite it's quite good for it's quite it's much better than a laptop because a laptop it just it just gave this stupid blur effect when I was doing it and therefore it didn't make it look good at all so hopefully this camera is better now so yeah even makes my voice sound better too so that's a win win I guess we're actually slightly ahead of the train which we're supposed to catch up on to so yeah this is going to be the one, this is going to be the one where I'm going to do it, and uh, I should mess up no t should mess up no time now. Got a weird camera angle for some reason, oh well. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a little bit hard though, so it's, uh, it's a bit hard, but not nowhere near as hard as the other one, but the other one can take a few attempts. I don't know. Okay, get up. I didn't know you had to press X to get up. I thought you just does it automatically, but you have to press you have to press the action button to go up, so yeah. But I was recording my video for for Sonic Boom, yeah. It's pointless. It's, get up, get up. Um, it's probably the most annoying video I've done ever on YouTube so far. It was because it took me like three or like four attempts of the 30 minute video to get through to get through the game and do it again because the problem was like poor visual quality recording and stuff like that. So, and then um, not only that, but I also still look bad because I like, ugh, Watch out. get up, this is so bad, um, Whoa. also, um, Watch out. what the hell, stop slamming, um, Sonic Boom just, it's, gra it's, it's high detail graphics, made the recording look bad for some reason, so yeah. I thought it was hard to record, so yeah. I'll do it with the phone eventually again, and hopefully it will be better this time. Okay, I just stop talking, I have to focus more. This is Controls in this bit is a bit finicky though, it's a bit sensitive though, that's a good problem with this bit. That's why I keep that's why I kept slamming into things a bit earlier. And the toy parts in the game it's not that useful, it's just a collection really. Too much like most other games back then, yeah. Many older games we used around this time, yeah. They must have had like, they must have had like some sort of like, um, you know, they must have had like, oh, they must, they must have had like collections to get, but because achievements didn't exist yet, like Xbox, Xbox Live, uh, PSN, or something like that, you can't post it and show your friends, so. It's a toy. It's just it's just like a collection to yourself at your home on the PS2. So yeah. Hang on, Joy. Oh, oh. So 
So yeah, that's what it's all about. You know what? This reminds me of. This reminds me of. This. Yeah. This whole section reminds me of the snowboarding bit from Sonic 06. And if you compare it side by side, it probably looks so similar to it as well. So, yeah. Alright, this has been part three. It's been, well, long? Nearly 16 minutes of recording. So, hope you see in part four.